Welcome to our 15th video with data structures and algorithms. And in the last video, we talked about uh, how to do a max heapify. And uh, in this video, we're going to talk about how to actually do build heap um, and how we're going to actually implement a heap. Because last time we did, uh, we just had this arbitrary tree, you know, this binary tree with a bunch of nodes in it. And then we uh, called max heapify on that and built a max heap of uh, max heap out of that, or turned that uh, into a max heap. Now, we're going to use an array, right, to store a heap. And um, it's easier for us to do that, right? We don't need to actually do like a, a linked kind of a list, right, where we have uh, like pointers, because this actually, that when we draw these trees, it kind of looks like we have, you know, pointers, right, to these other elements. Visually, we kind it's easier to think of it that way. But we can use an array, which is a little bit more efficient, right? We don't have to worry about that stuff. So how do we build a heap out of this array? Well, I've marked all these nodes, okay? We've got eight elements in our array, so we've got eight nodes. And I've marked each one. Now, we have to keep uh, the nearly complete property of a build heap. So if we just number these from top to bottom, left to right, okay, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, we keep that property, right? So there's our first thing. And all we have to do is insert these elements, right? We're not really inserting them, but in our visual diagram here, we're just going to write these elements here, right? So we've got five and then 12 and then 64, right? We're just going along left to right, right? One, 37, 90, 91, and 97. And now, uh, here's our little algorithm, right? So we're, so we're ready to actually build heap, All right? So we take this, right, from length of A, the last one, the last element, and we divide that by two, and then we max heapify from there. And as we said in the last video, we start from the last subtree, which is here, right? Just happens to have one child element. And then we go to this one, right? One less, right? Four minus one, minus one, minus one, right? And we heapify, we max heapify each one of these subtrees, okay? So that's what we're gonna do. So I equals eight divided by two floor. So I is here, okay? and we max heapify. And as we said before, we take the larger of the two child elements and we swap with the parent, okay? That's if the parent is, of course, less than or equal to the children. So in this case, we've gotta take 97, right? 97 and one and swap those two. And now we're done with our max heapify there. So I gets decremented, right? And now I is over here. So let's max heapify this. So both children are clearly greater than right, the parent node. So we take the larger of the two, which is 91. So 91 and 64 get swapped. And we decrement i. OK? And what I should be doing is swapping these, right? So 97 and where did I draw this? 97 and 1 one got swapped, and then 64 and 91 got swapped, right? 64. Okay, and now we're here on this one. So what we have is both of these are greater, right? So 97 is the greater of the two. So we take 97 and 12, so 97 and 12. And we'll do the same thing over here. All right, this was 97, and this should be 12. Okay, so now that one's done. And we'll decrement i. Okay. And we need to swap, right, because clearly both children are uh, less than. And we didn't screw up the max heapify here, right, so we didn't have to fix that one. So here, 97 is the greater of the two, so we'll 
swap that. So this is 5 and this is 97. Let's just reflect that up here. So 97 and 5, right? And now we have kind of destroyed the property here, right? Or not there, but right here of the parent being uh, greater than or equal to its child nodes. So we got to max heapify this one. So here the larger of the two is 37. Right, so we swap those two and we will reflect that over here. So 37 and 5. 37 and 5. Swapped. And now we should have a max heap. So let's check. Is 37 and 91 less than 97? Yes. Is 12 and 5 less than 37? Yes. Is 90 and 64 less than 91? Yes. Is 1 less than 12? Yes. And we have successfully built um, a max heap.